Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. Today we are gonna be jumping back into some baby content. We are gonna be talking all about six to nine months. We're gonna be talking about eating, drinking, sleeping, playing, and everything in between. So if you would like to hear my six to nine month baby essentials, then just go ahead and keep watching. So jumping right in, I'm gonna start off by talking about food and drink. When your baby hits around six months is typically when you start introducing solids. I know some people are doing it a little earlier, but personally for us, right when he hit six months is when we started introducing solids to him. First thing I'm gonna be talking about is the baby bullet. I used this baby bullet every few days from month six to month eight while Davis was eating purees a couple times a day before he started actually experimenting with like full solid food. Um, I used this so, so much and I love it. I love the bullet. I love that it has a couple different attachments. So it has this bigger one for um, larger quantities and then it also has this smaller one so you don't have to dirty a huge dish. Um, and I love this smaller one. It's easy to blend up oats or blend up literally any fruit or veggie of any kind. If you are thinking about pureeing your own baby food, I highly suggest getting the baby bullet. It is such a lifesaver. So also around six months, we started trying to give him water and we had a few trial and errors with a few different sippy cups and he was just not catching on. Then I came across this guy at Target and he loved it, loves it. And he continues to love this cup. I'm a huge fan of this cup, mostly because it does not spill anywhere. I carry this around in my purse full of water and it does not spill. I love that. So how it works is if your baby bites down on the rim right here, it creates an opening and the water is able to come out. So if you flip it upside down, if nothing's biting right here, it's no water will come out, which I love, I love it. Once Davis hit six months old, started having started incorporating solids into his diet, I was kind of a little crazy over what he ate. I wanted to know exactly what he was eating. I blended everything up myself. I would not give him anything if it was processed or anything like that. I was very, I still am pretty crazy with what he eats. But there is something nice about having something that is quick, easy, convenient on the go. And I was having trouble finding something that was organic, fresh, healthy, that was still on the go. But I found these at Target. They are also carried at other grocery stores as well. But it is the Once Upon a Farm. It's the organic baby food. And in this pouch, for instance, it is the green kale and apples pouch. And in here, it has apple, banana, kale, and hemp seed. That's it. That's literally all that's in here. And all of their um, different flavors are the same way. There's just very, very minimal ingredients. Everything I know, everything I've heard of, the only liquids they typically use will be like coconut water or purified water. Everything is super clean, super fresh. You find these in the refrigerated section because they don't last very long. They last a couple months because they are so fresh and healthy. They are a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but I, I like feeding him healthy. I just do. It's one of my priorities. Um, so if I'm going to have something convenient on the go, I'm always going to choose these organic baby foods. He loves all, the, literally all the flavors. They have a ton of different flavors. Um, I personally got mine at Target and he is a huge fan. Love these. So when we started incorporating solids into Davis's diet, he immediately became a very irregular with his potty situation. So it was really sad, like literally right away. He never had a problem ever in the first six months of his life. And then right when we started giving him solids, he just became very backed up, very irregular. Um, and you can tell he was having a hard time with it and he would be really constipated and really sad. Um, sometimes he went like a week without going. So we got these also from Target. Um, it is the probiotic supplement. And literally you guys, after I give him his dose of this, within two or three hours, he is flushed right out every single time. It's literally like clockwork, I swear. This is like a miracle, a miracle for constipated babies. And it is the Culturel uh, brand, the probiotic baby. It is the grow and thrive. Um, it is the probiotic with the vitamin D. And seriously, it clears him right out. Like this is heaven sent if you have a baby with constipation um, and you don't wanna do anything like too invasive or anything like that. It is just a natural, um, supplement and probiotics are good for them and good for their gut health. So next category, we're going to be talking about sleep and my necessities for sleep. Now, if you know anything about Davis, you might be thinking, Emily, 
You can't give us advice because your kid sucks at sleeping and you're not wrong. However, there are a couple things that really do help even though he's not that good of a sleeper. Anyways, so at six months, we moved Davis into his own room, in his own crib, in his own space. So the couple things that we did um, to help him transition, and this item he loves so much, you guys, and it is the Baby Einstein. I have no idea what this is called, but we call it his starfish. We also got this from Target, and he is obsessed with this. So every time, every nap and every bedtime that I put him down, um, I put him in his crib, and I immediately turn his little starfish on. Starts the white noise. He also has a separate white noise machine that's already going in his room, but and it also lights up. See, so wait. There we go, can you see it? It's, it's hard to tell because it's not dark outside, but it lights up, and then you can see his little fish friends moving around. Um, he loves this thing, you guys. It, it, when he wakes up from his nap, a lot of times he's not like crying right away. He always, so there's a little button right here that you can control and he now knows how to press it. So whenever he wakes up and it's not on, he sits up and he reaches for this and he turns it on and off and then laughs at it. Oh, he loves this thing, you guys. He thinks it's so, so cute. I love it. I love watching him in the monitor play with this. Anyways, so it is a really good distraction for when your baby is just starting out in their own crib um, and it's obviously not super familiar. You're not in the room anymore. Um, having this on is such a great distraction and helps them relax. And also, I think it's on for 15 or 20 minutes and then it automatically shuts off, but it slowly gets quieter and quieter and dimmer and dimmer as the time goes on. So as they're starting to wind down and get sleepy, this starfish is also getting quieter and more sleepy. So he loves this thing, you guys. This is seriously one of my absolute must, must haves. Another item in the sleepy category is overnight diapers. So. He is a little peeing machine in the middle of the night, and that is because he still eats a bunch in the middle of the night. So around six or seven months, Davis's regular daytime diapers were not cutting it anymore at nighttime. Um, he peed out of them literally like every single night. So I was on the hunt for a good overnight diaper. I tried a couple different ones, but the ones that are a tried and true win for us every single night are the Pampers Overnighters. These are so great for him. Um, he rarely ever will pee out of them. If he ever wears a regular diaper to bed by accident, he pees out of it every single time. So we love these. We have to have them on hand at all times or else we'll have to do a jammy change in the middle of the night. So we love the Pampers Overnighter. So last item in sleepy category is recommended by me, but is not recommended by professionals, I don't think. But around six months when we moved him into his own crib, we took him out of his love to dream swaddle. So he was just free and he, he, he wanted something in there with him. He just wanted something to like snuggle up against. So this was made for him by a family member and it is this super really soft crocheted blanket. It has plenty of really large holes in it um, to where I never felt, um, and I still don't feel like it's going to be a hazard. Um, even if your face is directly down in it, you can still breathe because the holes are so big. Literally, you guys, he loves this blankie. Right when I put him down, I turn on his little starfish, put his blanket in there, and he just grabs it and like, did you like that? He just, like, he loves it. He goes like this, and he just wants to snuggle with it. He falls asleep laying on top of it or throws it over his shoulder. He loves falling asleep with his blankie. Um, and I know it's not recommended to have a blanket in there until, I think, 12 months, um, but we put this in there at six, but seriously, he loves having a cozy little blanket in there. Um, so highly recommend having an open weave blanket if you don't already. Okay, now we're gonna be moving on to toys and entertainment. So around the age of six to nine months, that's what we're talking about. Two items that he loved and adored um, was an exer saucer that you just pop him in. He has the little activity center around him um, and that he can like jump up and down while playing with the toys. He loved that. And he loved it especially once he could sit up on his own um, where he could sit up, 
but he couldn't like stand at all. But he loved that that helped him stand and that he could just jump up and down and he just had the best time. And then also kind of along with that, he loved having a door jumper, the one that attaches to the door. You just pop him in and he can just jump all around, do spinning in circles. He loved that. And I personally loved that gadget because it helped me get ready so much easier. Now he's into everything, pulling things out of drawers, cabinets. Um, but before I could put him in the um, bathroom doorway, I could get ready, He, I could put him in there, he could jump around, go to town. He would have a great old time when I was getting ready, it was the best. Okay, and now next toy that he loved so much right around this age, and he still loves it, is um, this little instrumental numbers, animal sounds toy. And it also is in three different languages, English, Spanish, French. Um, but you can choose on no here instruments, instruments numbers, numbers animals. and animals. And you can press the buttons and then you Frog. and then you can also press them up there. Numbers. One, two, three. One, and he loves they're super He loves this toy, plays music, and it talks. Um, so he really, really likes that. He still enjoys playing with this. Um, and these buttons down here, the one through five, are super, super easy to press. I feel like it's a really fun interactive toy for them to use, and it also talks, which I feel like he likes the ones that interact with him. Which brings me to this guy. He loves my phone. I don't know why, I've never let him watch ever anything on my phone like he doesn't watch shows yet like he's not into it he's never watched anything but he loves my phone and he always wants it so when he was around probably eight months i got him this little phone and he loves this thing loves it i give this to him in the back in his car seat and he's just like Four, two, pressing buttons and he loves it and it also it sings the abcs He loves this thing, seriously. Um, if you have a baby around that age, he still loves this thing. Um, but anyways, he started to love it right when I got it for him around seven, eight months maybe. So those were his two probably most played with toys like at our house. Obviously like he uses more toys than that. He plays with a ton of different things. But as far as like the reoccurring, constantly grabbing, constantly gravitating towards, definitely those two. Um, toys probably take the cake for months six to nine. Then I also have a couple books. So around this time, he became obsessed with texture, obsessed. Um, so I got him a couple texture books. So the first book is Never Touch a Monster. They have a bunch of different um, variations of this type of book. Um, but if you can see, you can touch and it's like super texturized. Um, and every single page like this is like super texturized, really bumpy, and he loves to read this book right here. And he like likes to feel it, likes the noise it makes. This front page is his favorite. He always closes the book because he wants to touch this front page. He is obsessed with this. Another texture book I got um, is called Mommy's Big Helper. It has texture on every single page. This one, it's like a sponge. Um, one of the pages is a scratch and sniff, which is bizarre, but um, he always will feel the cat. He knows exactly where to feel everything now. Um, so while I'm reading in the story, he can touch it and play with it and just get a grasp and a feel for things. And then um, here it is. It's the scratch and sniff strawberries and they smell, it's crazy, like they smell like strawberries. But anyways, he loves like the interactive part of like texture books. And the other ones that he really likes are the touch and feel. This is the Merry Christmas one, um, but they have so, so many different renditions of this. They have animals, shapes, they have so many, um, but here it's like you can feel the glitter or you can feel the snowman scarf. Um, here you can feel the dog. He just has so, so much fun with these books. So I feel like six to nine months is a good age to start incorporating textured, like either textured books or textured balls, just to where um, it gets them feeling different things and, and it just makes them explore a little bit more. Um, oh, and speaking of texture, I forgot one more item. I have no clue what these are called, but they're like a texture little, little comfort thing. I don't know what these are called, but we got a couple of these made for our baby shower um, and there are just, it's a two-sided um, little thing with all of these little textured, things around it. 
um, for him to play with. So I loved putting these um, in his car seat with him when we would be on a long drive. Um, there are just so many different textures, obviously, and colors and shapes to look at. This side is a little bumpy. This side um, is softer, but it has a nice pattern to look at. Um, these are great for little developing minds. I highly recommend these. When I got this for my baby shower, I was like, what is this? Like, why, why did I get gifted this? I had no idea. But then once he hit around six months, I was like, ah, I see why I got a couple of these for my baby shower because they are so handy when they start wanting to explore different shapes, feelings, patterns, colors. Um, this was great for him. He seriously loved this so much and he still loves it to this day. Now we kind of play peekaboo with it. I throw it over his head and then he pops out and giggles. And alrighty guys, that wraps up my six to nine month baby essentials. These are tried and true things that I would never recommend if he didn't love them and he did. So I hope this gave you some ideas if your babies are around that age or coming up on that age. Everything that I talked about will also be linked in the description box below. So check there if you're interested in anything. And if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will catch you next week. Bye.